All right, I'm Greg with Greg's Airbrushing, and today we're going to teach you guys how to airbrush uh, some script lettering. The name is going to be Amanda. Watch closely with how I handle each individual letter. Each individual letter should stand on its own. As you can see, I didn't rush it. I uh, didn't do anything special. Each individual, each individual letter stands by itself. And all the way back to writing in the first grade. Your capital letters stayed within the uh, two-part uh, path. Your lowercase letters stayed uh, within that half or that one-part path, so to say. If you want a course in each name, you can grow back and add a drop shadow. Remember, a drop shadow is just a suggestion. It should not compete with your letters. So watch how I handle it. I'm not really drawing out each letter. But it looks like I did and the shadow doesn't compete with the verbiage. I can still read Amanda. We're gonna have Jonathan come in and write the same name. Jonathan's been with us for a couple of months. He's a new airbrush artist, but we want you guys to know that even a novice can learn how to write like this. It just takes practice. Come on in, Jonathan. Let's try it out. All right. Okay, Jonathan wrote Amanda out in a different way, but that's okay. Can you read it? Yes. Does it have as much flair as the one that I did? Not as much, but it's okay. All right, each individual letter stands by itself, but if we're writing in script, we wanna show a little bit of connection to each letter. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go back in based on what Jonathan's done and show you how to connect each letter. Here's the A. In one sweeping motion, I did an open and close. Open and close. On the way down, I opened. On the way up, I closed. The M. Okay. It only looks like I connected them all because the tail of the, of the previous letter runs right to it. A. One stroke. N, D, and A. Okay? Again, if you can master the dagger stroke or an open and close, you can write any name and script and make it look great. Open and close, that's all I've been doing. You can learn this technique by doing dots. You can learn this technique by doing circles. Make the circle, no matter how small it is, stay connected. Okay? Look how small that is. And all I did was master making circles. And that is script using the name Amanda. Thank you guys.